The Appalachian Advantage plan is the simpler, better way to get the phone you actually want instead of paying hundreds of dollars up front. Simply pay the taxes up front and a few extra dollars a month and get the phone you really want. It's called the Appalachian Advantage, available at Appalachian Wireless. Sunrise will be shifting an hour earlier as this Sunday, November 6th, daylight savings time will come to an end. With the shift, many will be returning home from work in the dark. We spoke to Public Information Officer Tony Kahn on what people can do to stay safe during these winter months. Daylight saving times to us actually begins holiday period to us. Uh, of course, you're going to have shoppers out, a lot of people's out shopping, a lot of people's out uh, doing their last minute things they need to do, and traffic is really thick, congested on US 23 anyway. So, see my day about savings time, when everybody's going home at 5, 5.30, then you're gonna have, it's, it's dark. And of course, your observation, your field of view, everything is less after dark than it is gonna be during the day. So, we just ask people to basically, no texting, no driving like that. Um, if you're gonna use your phone, Bluetooth, hands-free stuff, and just pay attention to the road and keep your eyes on the road. Officer Khan also gave several tips that can help keep you and your family safe during these dark evenings. Allow yourself stopping distance. Get, allow yourself at least four, five, six car lengths between the next car in case they just slam their brakes on for any, no reason or they've got someone stopped in front of them. Uh, be aware of your surroundings, changing lanes. People want to, people see uh, there's blind spots. It's hard to get rid of those blind spots. No texting, no driving, of course, with that. Hands-free stuff, keep your eyes on the road and take your time. You know traffic's going to be bad. Prepare for that. We have a lot. We have some road rage incidents here too. Just kind of have patience with everybody because you're going to be stuck in traffic, and you're not going to make any time up by trying to pass everybody or trying to speed down the road. And you're not going to make any time up. All you're going to do is endanger yourself and everybody else. And wear your seatbelt. Wear the seatbelt. Make sure all your occupants have seatbelt on also. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.